In this video, uh, we're going to be looking into Compose. So for that, one thing is that let's just delete all the containers we have. Uh, for that, we can do uh, docker uh, container ls, uh, just uh, copying the container IDs, uh, docker container remove let's just do it with the force flag docker container remove force flag this and the last one is this or we can keep the getting started it doesn't really so right now we only have one docker container unless we only have one getting started guide uh, in there now so we had everything like and also let's just delete the network right docker network ls uh, so we had this to do app right so let's just delete that network to docker network remove this one so looking good now I'm just gonna copy the compose file the compose files are and you can get this file from the uh, okay uh, okay getting started app you can get it from the the getting started project and those compose files they are like the name is docker hyphen compose dot yaml they are these are the yaml files and we're just gonna go through uh, what are the contents here so you can define services or the volumes right so that means we are gonna need the network so we said network and we actually deleted the to do app network so docker network create to do app docker network ls we have that so we want to keep our uh, docker network we don't want to delete that okay so we have the services and the volumes the volume is like we want to you know we know that this is the uh, mysql database we want to use it right so this is the the two services one is the app one is the mysql if you put a tab in it oops if you put a tab in it that's how you can actually define multiple services in here uh, just like python uh, indentation is going to be the one which is going to be like um uh, which uh, is how we actually differentiate what we are de doing in the in the yaml file so image is this one command is uh, for that uh, we have been using the ports we are using 3000 to 3000 right? and the working directory is slash hyphen volume is where we want to mount it right and the environment variables are these are the different environment variables which basically have been used uh, from uh, the mysql docker image uh, mysql docker image again we are using the image this one the uh, volume is going to be mounted here right and then uh, environment variables is sec secret and the database is to do's just what we did in the previous one we are we can actually do it in the in the yaml file so now right now nothing is working and we do not have any docker uh, in, uh, container ls other than that and getting started guide so the com the command to uh, 
make use of this uh, uh, compose file and set up all the services and volumes and everything what you do is like you say docker compose up and then dash d for the daemon like basically do it in the background so you created that and it started creating the first application and the MySQL that has been started and if you wanna uh, if you want to know the status of that you can say docker uh, compose log f oops f and the uh, Oops, sorry about that. Logs, not the log. What is the command? Compose is not right. C O M P O S E. Yes. So everything is connected. Uh, our application is listening to port this one, connect, and the the app is actually connected to the MySQL DB. And if you go back here, it is working. You can add the items for to do list uh, you can add the items over there so the last thing I wanted to cover is like it's really easy so before that let's just see oh yeah that happened to me last time too okay last time it was it got stuck and I just couldn't come out of it whether I press control Q or anything like that so let me just found this find this uh, log so PS AUX and grep uh, compose I'm just gonna look for this log one and delete it okay negative nine still have that so this one is gonna be uh, PS AUX grep compose uh, I wanna kill that that one negative nine and this should be good okay let's come out of that and now that uh, yeah so basically I wanted to show you the docker uh, container ls has uh, we, we can see both the applications in MySQL and in order to um, kind of remove all of them all you need to do in order to destroy whatever was created using this docker image you can actually say Uh, the the teardown command is uh, docker compose uh, down and all the containers and the volumes uh, everything is gonna be uh, deleted so if you do docker uh, a container ls uh, you won't see those containers anymore uh, that's all I wanted to cover in this video thanks for watching